spent my childhood traveling all over the world. Um, my father worked for an oil company, and uh, they sent us to so many countries I lost count, but every four years or so we'd pack up the whole household, get on a ship, and go to another country, stopping in between at other places before we got to the country of residence. Um, my parents collected a lot of Asian art, and that went with us on each leg of our, our traveling, each leg of our journey. And so that really became the first things that I was familiar with as art. Um, I looked at Japanese prints, I looked at Chinese porcelains, I looked at t Japanese textiles, and the decorative motifs of these things became the lingua franca of my artistic um, voice. Uh, I was um, very nearsighted as a child and saw from a distance things in blocks of color. And this became the way I compose um, as an illustrator, as an artist. I see things in abstract blocks of color, and then I go in and focus on the details within. This piece, a garden seat, Chinese garden seat, Femme Rose, was one of the things that I was most fascinated with when I was a little girl, because I could crawl up to it and look at it closely, and what had been kind of a pink blur resolved itself into leaves and birds and flowers. And I just looked at all these decorative bands that went around it. I mean, I would sit transfixed for hours just looking at the patterns on this thing, maybe because it was the same level as my eyes. But from a distance, it was a blur of color. But when I got up close, I could see the patterns. And to this day, it's the patterns that really become the focus of my, of my creations. Um, we lived in Africa, we lived in Holland, we lived in Australia, uh, we stopped in Tahiti, we stopped in Samoa, we stopped in New Zealand. All these different places um, contributed to my idea of a, of a world filled with different kinds of art. I'm a great collector of ethnic art. I just picked up these wonderful puppets here from Java. I found one, and then I found another, and then I found a whole troupe. And I was so happy because they were reunited. And for my work, to look at the heads of these and to look at the patterning, the exquisite carving and patterning, is a great reference in my work. If I want to do something and I need something to give me a boost, give me a leg to go on, to move, to inspire me, I come and look at my stuff. And I've got lots and lots of stuff. It's everywhere. I have a wall over there filled with uh, Chinese uh, embroideries. Chinese wedding collars. I have a wall of masks as you walk in the door. I have more masks up there. Um, black, blue and white Chinese porcelains. All of these patterns are my reference points um, and, and serve me in my work. Um, travel was, was the most important and, and, and constant thing of my life. I still travel, but not as much because I'm usually working. Um, that's the way it is. <laughs>